it is so empowering. Yeah. I think people are like, yeah. oh, what will the audience want and what do they want to see? But actually... It's just... like, you can control the audience. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's it. Like, you can take the trash strap and then they'll go, woo! And like, oh, no, you're not getting the yes. You're not getting the yes. Burlesque is... I'm going to describe it as a... The art of strip tease, an art of teasing. So you're taking something that is just stripping, bringing a load of other elements into it. I came to uni and I was like, okay, I'm an adult now. This is it's my big shot to do whatever I want. Let's do the scariest thing I can think of. I came across it when I was in my second year, but I didn't have confidence in myself to to go to any of them. I was like, that's something I've always liked the idea of, but not really put my foot in the door or such. As I first started, I wouldn't have wanted to do it outside of that kind of student community where there's a lot of support. The committee were so encouraging to be like, yeah, go for it, you can do it. I'm gonna play a song and I want you to walk around and then I'm gonna shout at you a sort of mood that I want you to come up with. Okay, we want sexy with your back to me. First time I think I really saw of saw myself being really really drawn to it wasn't until Luna Lamour was doing um, her Snow White act. That's cool. That's that's the Velasco like. When you say Velasco, you don't think of blood. <laughs> you don't think of fake brains. You don't think of a zombie Snow White. You get to see like, oh, that person's really playful, that person's really sexy, that pe person's really comedic. <laughs> like, do anything, turn anything with burlesque. Yeah. Like, we've seen David Cameron. David Cameron and a pig. What is black and white and says... <laughs> Everybody was kung fu fighting. You can take a, your gloves off and you can still make it the most amazing routine ever. My first performance on Friday. It was Darth Vader. Yeah. <laughs> everyone was like, it's Darth Vader in a corset. What? And I, yeah. I remember just thinking, everyone's cheering for me. This is really, I mean, they don't know it's me. <laughs> but it's Darth they're loving but you. It's, <laughs> but it's, yeah. they're loving me. Lots of people out there do have very personal acts. I used to be in an abusive, well, technically two abusive relationships and my next act is um, called Hexes and Exes and it's just a massive screw you to um, my exes and other people who have like, you know, been hurt by terrible people in the past. I, I suffer from anxiety and depression so when I was, did my first performance I was an absolute, I was a nervous wreck. Now I quite happily go and do modelling and do boudoir and go topless. And I feel amazing. I was on a teacher training course, but then I failed placement. My anxiety was at an all-time all high, depression, just generally feeling like shit. Like a week after leaving placement, I had a burlesque at the show. And honestly, it was the best performance ever, ever done, just because of how amazing it made me feel. Sisterhood though, it's like girls yeah. cheering girls and just yeah. like, look at those eyes, look at that face and that hair and that warmth and that dance. Try your hardest to resist her tonight, there is no escape. Please welcome to the stage your first act of the evening, Willow Team! I feel on top of the world when I'm, I'm doing it. It gives me so much more confidence. Ruby Chan, Miss Eliza Mace! It's such a thing if there's no one person who can't do it at all. A mummy with a mission to me at the rooms. You're in charge. The person on the stage is the one in charge. It definitely 
does make me feel happier, certainly. You get this sort of energy of like, yeah, I've just got to do it now and it's about to happen. And you don't really breathe properly, you just get really warm and you're just running through it all. And then it's over and you just, yeah, it's such an electric kind of buzz. Of, oh my God, it's just happened. <laughs> Being told that you are sexy just as you are, like there needs needs to be no Photoshop or or surgery or weight loss or anything. You are exactly as you need to be to be sexy as you are, and it's so empowering. The audience don't mind because as long as they get boobs, yeah. oh, as long as they get the boobs, the it's fine. Yeah. Audience love like actual people.